Hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is David Okudo. I'm going to be your host for today's SOP review. If you are present, can you please put down your name, your country, and the time uh, country right now in the comments box? Hello? Good afternoon. Is anyone present? If you're present, please put your name and the country you're joining us from and the time in that country in the comment box, please. Is anyone online? Good afternoon. I can see there are two people that are watching us, they are joining us. So please, can you put your name and your country and the time in your country right now in the comment box? Comment it. Okay, good afternoon. I can see Dorcas Olua Tosin. Good afternoon, Dorcas. How are you doing? All right. So um, please, as you are joining us, please put your name, your the country you are joining us from, and the time in the country right now in, in the comment box. All right. I can see a lot of people joining us. I can see Dorcas. I can see George Enyin Naya, Thomas Nunu, um, Sunday Olubiyi. Megameno, and uh, I can see Gabriel, I can see Simon P. Please, as you're joining us, please put your name and uh, the country you're joining us from in the comment box. All right. All right, that's one that I think we have a sufficient number to start. Okay, let me introduce myself again. My name is David Okudo, and I'm going to be your host for today's SOP review. And um, before we start, I just want us, for those of us that joined us yesterday, just want to remind you guys of the way these things work. So first of all, there is this accountability partnership that we're doing. So it's a spreadsheet. And in that spreadsheet, I'm going to post the link very soon. So in the spreadsheet, you are going to... Yeah. I'm posting the link right about now. All right. Um, let me get that. Okay, so this is the link to the spreadsheet. And so in the spreadsheet, it's basically to help keep you accountable. So even beyond this SOP review that we're doing now, it's such that if you and your accountable your accountability partner, you guys can come together, fix a time, fix a day, that you guys can look at each other's documents, your credentials, and see how to improve it. So it's like, you help me, I help you, that kind of thing. So I hope you can see the link I posted in the, in the comment box. Can we all see it? Can we all see it? Please, if you can see it, can you indicate in the comment box that you can see the link I posted? Okay, that's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay, so now let's let's start. So I said something. I said as you join in, or just put your name and the country you're joining us from the comment box. And so it's going to be on a first come first serve basis. And so the the first person I saw that puts her name in the comment box is Dorcas. So Dorcas is number one, and um, George, and you know, I didn't put your name in the comment box, so I, I'd hope you've put it now. So number two is Thomas. Number three is uh, Sonny, Sonny Olibi. Number four is Gabriel Oba, Obodai. Number five is Simon. Number six, okay, I've seen your name, George. Number six is George. Number seven is Adamu Mohammed. Number eight is John. Number nine is Fechi from Nigeria. And number 10 is Emmanuel. Okay, so I'll be choosing 10 people on 12 rather. So Emmanuel, then there is number 11 is Anu Oluwapo from Nigeria. And uh, okay, that, these are the first 11 that I've seen. So as the join us, as well as join us, would we'll also keep updating the list. And so I want you all this number one, I'm going to send you the email address to which you're going to send the SOP so we can start. So this SOP review, we are going to be doing 10 minutes per person because of the amount of people, amount of people that are on the on that want to have your SOP reviewed. So excuse, let me get that. Okay. Okay. 
So that is the email address. So you should share your email address. You should share your SOP as a Google Docs to this email address. You don't need to send it as an attachment. Just send it as a Google Docs to this email address, and then we would I would review it. So number one is um uh I said number one is who again? Docas. Docas is number one. So Docas, uh, please send your email, your SOP to this email address as the Google Docs. Docas. I can't, I can't see your email address yet. Let me, let me share my screen so you guys you can see what I'm saying. Share screen. Um, okay. Um, which of them? Okay, yes, share. Okay, so this isn't the one I'm looking for. Okay, no, I don't want to share this. I'm looking for something else. Um, share. Okay, all right. So I said number one is Docas, and so um, I haven't seen Docas. I can't see your SOP here. The so um, I would have to Docas is number one, and Tom Docas, please, if you are, if you can hear me, please send your SOP to this email address. I can't see your SOP yet. All right. Um, while Docas sends her own, let's look at the number two. Number two is um, Sunday. So Sunday is number two. Sunday, have you sent, can you send your SOP to this email address? Sunday. There's no sun, Sunday. Please share your SOP to this email address. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not here. Please, it's not here. So let me skip that. Let me go to number three. Number three is um, Megamino Kashindo. So let me check what Megamino's SOP is here. Megamino, your SOP isn't here yet. Isn't here. Well, please send your SOPs to this email address. If I've given you numbers, please send your SOP to the email address I already posted. Just slide up in the chat box. You see the email address I posted. So number one, Docas, I haven't seen your SOP. Number two, um, Sunday, I haven't seen yours. Even Megamino, I haven't seen your SOP. I would have to go to the next one, which is Gabriel, Gabriel Obodai. Let me see what the SOP is here. Gabriel Obodai, it isn't here. isn't here gabriel can you please send your sop i already sent the, let me okay you're asking what the email address let me write that again the email address is barbara let me post that ask barbara2 at gmail.com but let me uh see So that's the email address. I hope all of us can see it now. Ask Barbara to at gmail.com. Let me refresh my this page. Let me see what your, your SOP has come in. Okay, I have seen George's SOP, but I haven't seen Dorcas's or Megamino or Gabriel's one. So I'd have to start with George's one, George's SOP, and then as Whenever Docas and Sunday send us, we'll review it. So, George. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me open. The... Okay. Okay. Can we all see the screen? I hope we can all see the screen. Can we all see the screen? Clearly, is, is it clear for everyone to see? Is it clear? If it's clear, please say, please say so in the comment box. Is it clear? All right, all right, all right. 
So um let's let's start. Can everyone see the 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 judge judge any nayachi is SOP? Can everyone all of us see it? Can we all see it? Okay, so I'm going to um add if if I've given you a number, please call you. I want you to join me on the um this stream here so I can ask. So as I'm give asking questions, you can be replying me. So I know you are following. So those of you that have numbers, please join the um join me on the on live on this platform so that if I if I as I'm reviewing, I can be getting feedback from you as it's going on. So George. Um, so let's start with George Aging Cases SOP. So um, I hope all of us can see it. If you can't see it, just say so in the chat box. Let me um let's let's so that we can we can be all we can all have synergy. So this SOP, first things first, um the time now is uh 2 11, and I said we're going to be taking 10 minutes per review. So after this one by 2 21, I hope to be done reviewing this SOP. First thing, so George isn't uh, any nurture case here. Uh, okay, there's no title. I, I think that the first thing you should have is a title so that a professor would know what exactly you're writing about. In, in for example, you're writing to get a, a PhD or a doctorate in geophysics in MIT. So we'd be like SOP for geophysics at MIT so that you can be okay. This is what this SOP is about. But nonetheless, let's go. So my interest in pursuing a master's degree in global security, conflict, and cybercrime is based on the need to acquire the knowledge and skills that are required to meet the demands of today's rapidly changing security issues. The curriculum aligns. So I'm not going to be doing a grammar check. This is just to review the strength of your statement of purpose. So the curriculum aligns perfectly with my interest, and I'm excited to explore topics such as cyber law, infrastructure, security, and national assurance. Okay, I I can see from this, I can I can get the this is like an introduction. This is paragraph one. Paragraph one is an introduction, and I can see that any Naya is interested in pushing a master's degree in global security. And he says it aligns perfectly with his interests, even though I don't know what his interests are. I, I, I hope to find out later. And he's decided to explore topics. Okay. So let me go to the next paragraph. As a child, I had a drive for technology. I watched YouTube videos to keep up with the latest innovations in the field of intelligence and data analytics. As I grew older, I also developed an interest in global development. However, with social economic limitations in my part of Nigeria, I was not sure how my overall interest would merge towards a productive career. As my curiosity grew, I realized that. Oh, this is this is this is long. This is long. This is this is like <clears throat> another introduction. This is let me comment that this is like another introduction. Another introduction. Your aim in an SOP is to make sure that every single sentence is as impactful as possible because the graduate committee don't have time to you know be they have a lot of applications to review and you want yours to stand out. If you spend so much time, you know, talking about things that are not relevant to your application, just talking about stories, giving background, it would, it would make them lose interest. They'll be like, this person is not serious, that kind of thing. So this is too long, like another introduction. So summarize and summarize and remove the fluff. All right, so comment that. The next paragraph in college, I worked on several projects. All right, I worked on several projects that involved graphic design and web development and roots multiple technology articles on a website that come with my roommates. I made two publications on electric boots in my family, which helped me understand the impact of technology and post lives. Wait, what? George, please, I I, I am lost. What is the, the what are you applying for? You're applying for a master's degree in global security, conflict, and cyber crime. Okay, I'm trying to find how this correlates with um um graphic design and web. Okay, let's let me let me continue. I hope to see how that correlates. Okay, so I made two publications on electric voting in my final year, which helped me understand the impact of technology on people's lives. After completing my degree, I studied about web, created NFTs, and took classes on full stack web development. However, during this period, I realized that the level of internet fraud and uh, terrorism and cyber in my country is at an all time high. This is this is still repeating. It's still going over the same things we, uh, you are you are trying to explain about in your introduction. It's like a like a third introduction you are going on here now. So this is not it's this let me comment this this is still an introduction still like an introduction i like the fact that you have you have started giving you have you you said a few things about you know your your 
past experience, your the research research experience you've got, the papers you've written. But I feel you can you can you can summarize this. You can summarize this. You can make it smaller. Summarize. Make it impactful. If you are going to write about a project, you have to follow. You've heard of the star approach. You have to write what you did, the project title, what you did, and then the results you got. So in this in this in this particular paragraph, I can't see that happening. I just saw okay, you have this is what you did, and then you 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 can't tell me. I can't get what you the the the, the achievements basically the achievements you've gotten from this project. What did this thing create in you? Maybe helped you understand how cyber crime is more prevalent in one place, or just how this what yeah take away achievements from this. Okay, let me go to the next paragraph. Unfortunately. As developing countries like Nigeria make the technological advancements, change experts for mitigating cyber crimes infrastructure means limited in numbers, no and opportunities. For instance, Nigeria seems to lost credibility because of the conflicts, alleged cyber attacks, and fake news about the technologies, the applications, how they could be used to solve complex problems. Okay, okay, okay. I can see now that you have this is right here now. I can see this is where your interest is. And okay, let me comment that this is interest your research interest which is good it's good to be able to communicate this is why i want to go about is i want to get this degree these are the reasons these are this is these are my research interests in this particular program so you want to learn more about emerging technologies the applications how they could be used to solve complex problems with that secret infrastructure but still this whole thing here this whole thing here i i i do not see the it's 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 still it's still, it's still, it's still full of too much stories. Yeah, still too much stories. Too much stories. You should go straight to the points. And I did SOP should be in structured in this way. Paragraph one is an introduction. Your problem statement. Okay, I want to get this master's degree in cybersecurity because I have because of the internet fraud or whatever happened in my country. Then paragraph two should be okay. My educational background. This is how I've gotten. This is if I went to this college. I got this degree. I did this project with this professor and I learned this. And then paragraph three should continue in that same vein. Then you talk about your interest. And so you don't want to spend too much time talking about stories that are not relevant to what your pro the prof basically wants to see how you will contribute to the program. So talking about how your country, it's even though it gives background, it should just, it should limit it to your first paragraph, talking about your introduction. You shouldn't carry it over to your second or your third paragraph. And so let's continue. So my passion for technology and desire to contribute to the global development has led me to pursue this degree. And particularly drawn to New York University. So I hope all of us can follow. So can can everyone if you can follow, please say so in the comments box. Just tell just uh say what your own thoughts are about this SOP. So the fourth paragraph says my passion for technology and desire to contribute to global development has been to pursue this degree and particularly drawn to New York University because of its reputation for providing a rigorous and comprehensive curriculum that prepares students to in multiple industry specialty tracks, attestments, to an exciting array of options which will guide my study path to be an open door to the future and the numerous opportunities for hands-on experience through graduate thesis, capstone. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is good. This is good. I like this. I like this. Even though I feel. I feel this could be structured in a better way. So let me write that. So I like this. So I like this. But could be structured to talk specifically, specifically about your interests in the school. So so, for instance, you have said you like their practice, you, you, you like the uh, the curriculum. So, in the curriculum, what particular courses or what particular lecturers' um, laboratories, if it's a laboratory, or what particular disciplines under that curriculum are you interested in? Or if it's the hands on experience, what industry, let's say they have um, the biggest, um, they have, maybe they are connected to one big law firm or they are connected to one big um, lab. You talk about these things, be very specific. You don't want to come out as generic because a, 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 one, a way to just make your SOP lose its impact is to be generic. Just talk about things, just gloss over them. You need to be specific so that the graduate committee will know that you've done your research about this. You've gone to their website, you've looked at professors' work, you've done in depth study on these things. So, Take, take note of that. And, you know, so the next paragraph is indeed the MG, MS. What's the time? Okay, we have two, I have two minutes left. So 
for this SOP. So let me just go through this quickly. So indeed, the MSGSC program lies my short-term goals because I'm including my skills, working on internship projects and working opportunities within organizations that um, my long-term goal is contribute to research process and policy effective stream that manage that vast effects of terrorism and organized cyber crime within mass and kids contribute. Um, I'm confident that New York University is a perfect place to further my education and community again. Okay, okay, this ended, it ended, it ended in a fairly good way, but I feel this isn't, this isn't the best you can give any Naya. You can make this stronger, you can make this stronger by a long way. Um, my key takeaways from this, let me add that if, um, in, so let me put a comment somewhere there. Okay, excuse me. So... I need to put this sticky note somewhere. Mm. I'm just coming that. So my key takeaways, takeaways from this SOP, SOP is that you want to do a master's in MSGCC in NYU, New York University. And um, you are interested because of cyber crime. That's the only thing I remember. Cyber crime, I can't remember anything. And then this is bad. This is bad in the sense that you want to master's in, in your reasons is because reason is because of the cyber crime, the country. Okay, but I can't I can't see I can't see if connection between you and the school. school. I can't get that fit. There's this fit that whenever you, you when you when you when you look at when props talk about how they read applications, talk about fit, talk about relevance to the program. I can't see the way you are going to contribute to this research program. I can't see the way you are going to make this school, you know. What you are going to where you are bring to the table basically. I can't see that you've done your research on the school. You've this is 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 too generic, and I feel that much much more can be done on this. I like the fact that you state your research interests, I like the fact that you said okay, this is what I want to do, but then if I were to if I were to read this, I'll read this maybe a three over five because one, I want to see one, I want to see okay, your problem statement. This is why I am choosing this program. So I want to see your past, your background, your educational experience, your research experience, your teaching experience, whatever what, what achievements you have. I want to see that you have done work on my school. I want to know why do you want to come to this school. I want to know what work you want to do here, what interests you. And then I also want to see that okay, these are my career goals. I want to become maybe a professor in the future. I want to go teach. I want to maybe enter the industry, whatever it is, but be very specific because the more specific you are, the more it, it shows that you have done your work, one, on your own application, and two, on the school, you have said, okay, this is how best I fit in this program, and this is how best I, this is how to, um, this is how best I fit the program, and then this is how best I can contribute to it. If you've not done that, then when they just, just it, won't, it won't make much sense to it. I hope you are following. Any now, if you are, please comment um, in the chat box, then we are following. All right, all right. So that's the, with the first one. So let's let's um. So who is the number two? Who is number two? Ah, uh, close this down. Let's close this down. So who is number two? I hope you took note of that. George is George with us here. George, please. What are your comments about your SOP? What do you think? You, what are your key takeaways from it? What do you think you can work on? What do you think you can improve on with this SOP? I feel like there's like yes, like um Obong seeker pressure says there's too much stories. You you are not going straight to the point, you're not being specific, you are being generic but about your own experience and about the reason why you're choosing the school. So be more specific, be tell us why, how, what am I contributing? Be very specific. That's how to make your SOP stand out. Who is the number two? So number one is Dockers. Dockers, have you shared your SOP with us with me? On um, have we sent it to the email address? Let me check that. Mm -hmm. Excuse, let me send. Okay. Okay. I haven't seen. Um, Share. Sure. Okay, so I haven't um, seen who is the next. The next, okay, I've seen features on. Let's check. Number one is um, 
uh number one is docas number two is um sunday where is sunday number two is sunday number three let me check what sunday sunday docas have you sent your sop okay i can't see docas is okay this is it right here okay this is docas okay this is sunday oh wow that's that's beautiful okay so let's let's go with docas first okay open okay so personal statements of docas i hope all of us can see it if you can see it please i hope is is it, is it clear for everyone to see is it clear can everyone see it all right all right so personal statements of docas okay interesting okay title so what the years birth defects and development disorders have caused suffering and reduced survival rates for countless newborns impacting individuals families and communities are like nice 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 but can be more specific where which communities in particular where um this has become a significant public health concern so let me write that first which particular communities which particular communities all right all right so this has become a significant public health concern why progress has been made in understanding and preventing birth defects with known genetic causes the most common task in neural tube defects and oral clefts remain challenging the complexity arises from a mix of environmental genetic and environmental factors making prevention elusive and motivated to contribute to global research efforts and advancing molecular biology and biotechnology. Interesting, interesting, good. My goal is to contribute directly to the ongoing research on genetic birth defects and become a renowned researcher in genetics and developmental disorders whose contribution immensely impacts medicine, particularly improving the health of African children. This has supported my interest, especially with peers in Wow, wow, wow. This is good. This is good. Very good. So now from this, I can get one. You are interested, doctors, I can say that you're interested in bi molecular biology and biotechnology for genetic studies in medicine. I can see that you want to, your interest lies in the fact that bed defects and developmental disorders have caused suffering. So that's where your, your, your interest stems from. And then in particular in Africa, and that's why you want to do your PhD. This is wonderful. Let me write that. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. It's wonderful about about problem statement all right all right so let's continue next thing is that um as an african and a lover of children i've experienced and seen deficiency in periodic health care system in africa a young boy i knew who was living from better of genetic complications we shouldn't be happening in this country in parallel world where because of the thoughts they will go global Good health and well-being is at the highest level. They might qualify for the children, but now we are covered and estimated this person with babies worldwide about the congenital disorder of about four percent of cases recorded in low and low income countries in Africa is recorded in hundreds of thousands. Okay, okay. I I feel I feel this is this is like a continuation of your introduction. I know it gives it gives more background to the reason why you are going for this PhD in molecular biology, but then I feel you should find a way to um con, con, um combine this or add this to your paragraph one, make it such that this interest is because maybe I saw this boy and then I saw this bed defect and because of this bed defect, I am concerned. I now research what causes bed defects and then after research what causes bed defects, I'm not interested, this sparked an interest. But then if you, um, because this is like extra fluff, extra story, they are saying that it's, you know, when when you understand that when this professor gets this SOP, their interests, when, when you read the first paragraph, you should hold your interest. Second paragraph should continue the interest. But as they go down, as human beings, their interest will naturally drop. So you should be make sure that every single paragraph has something specific, has something very important, is impactful. Just take your SOP like a hammer. And then for every single sentence should like hit the nail on the head to make sure that these people want me to they, want, they will consider me for their program. They will make this, they will make this decision to invite me or give me this admission. This is how your SOP should be. So remove unnecessary sentences necessary sentences don't necessary or redundant sentences don't sentences how the bachelor's begin biochemistry from the university of Ibadan, nigeria's number one and africa's number five university according to times of education okay you can rephrase this you can see a top you can just write Top five or top number one university, best university in Africa, best in Nigeria or 
I need to put this. The school in Nigeria's premier university afforded me with a wholesome theoretical practical foundation in biology and from couple of course in of uh, my final year and got to standard genes coming engineers removing that tricks. This film like just reform my desire to contribute directly. Okay, okay. My bachelor's thesis was on the influence of toxicology of Declan for which I scored an A. Okay. Okay, so um first thing, so I can I can see your background, I can see your project. And so whenever you are writing projects, for instance, um in this particular one, you should uh, put your contributions. Your contributions. What exactly do you do? Did you go to the lab? Did you um, do a, some questionnaire? What, what do you do? What skills did you get from there? And how are those skills relevant to that graduate program? So put your contributions, outline your skills, outline your achievements. And finally, how those achievements or skills or skills are relevant to what you're applying for. So they are relevant. All right. So in my course of in the course of my undergraduate study, I was one of the so wait, how many pages is this? This is three pages. My goodness, I shouldn't have started reviewing this. I, I don't know whether um Barbara told you guys, but the minimum, the, the maximum number of pages for an SOP review should be two pages. And so this is three pages. I shouldn't have, I should have looked at that first. So if you have already sent your SOP and it's more than three pages, I'm sorry, I won't be able to review it because the, the maximum is two pages. And if it exists two pages, I'll just skip to the next person. Okay, so uh, but since I've already started, let me just finish. So in the course of my undergraduate degree, I was one of the 30 electors executives from a pool of HR members of, okay. Okay, I was part of okay yeah, achievements. Okay, after the commission manager with the Triumph National School, I hope to see how I took over training role in the United Kingdom development position, which has helped me hold my effective commission. Okay, okay. This is what you did. This is this is it. This is what I'm looking for. This is what you did. This is what it helped you get. And um, I have a record of my students to learning, and this has helped me improve help helped improve them academically by up to 70% according to the school's progress reports. So in this one, I can see that you have taught in a particular school, you have teaching experience, and sometimes that's important if you're looking for a teaching assistantship. And so you have teaching experience, and um, you taught biology and chemistry for GC students in the United Kingdom, and then this helps hone your effective communication and lecture delivery and time, time management skills, which is, which, is, uh, which is very good, very good, very good. You have shown have shown relevant skills. All right. I work now the aforementioned also volunteered. Okay, you have volunteer experience to work for the advocacy of SDGs and participants in general outreaches to generic uh, okay in southern communities where we educated students of different and of different communities on core SDG values and I eventually became connected in the group. Okay, so um, is it possible to mention specifically be more specific you can talk about like what what is the name of the what is the name of the group of the group what kind of outreaches well which is was it like a teaching outreach or was it uh maybe you went to um visit you went to give them gifts or you went to educate them on the 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 just what 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 be, be more specific so uh, it's more specific and then your own contribution should also be shown so be more specific. Okay, you developed. Okay, okay, I've seen that. I developed effective goal setting. Okay, okay. Tenacity, leadership, and more. Some which has helped to my looking life. Okay, I'm currently a research assistant at the University of Ibadan on genetics and molecular biology with the use of research model. Drosophilia melanogaster. Drosophilia. I am involved in. Okay, okay. All right. Drosophilia melanogaster. That should be the CSFLI, if I'm not mistaken. Passionate about research, teaching, and being able to reach out to underserved communities. Okay, uh, they drive to learn more about understanding genetic birds with respect to their complex interaction with environmental risk factors, contribute to ongoing research while explore. Hmm, okay, as is Portland City. Okay, okay. I should know it is widely known that Portland State University is, a, is, a respected, is respected as an advocate for equity, diversity, and inclusion. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Um, as a minority woman in STEM and a first generation scientist, I'm assured of my passion. I'm assured of my possession of the important technical skills in chemistry, but my chemistry, I'm innovative. Okay, proposed review. Really. All right. Okay, so um, from this particular one, from here, from here on out, I have seen, you have shown, let me highlight that. You have a, 
you have shown you have shown relevant shown research experience research experience um but you did not but you did not show your achievements what what what, what skills did you get what skills i know you did you did mass spectro photometry pcr and okay but what were your key what are your takeaways are your key takeaways from the project you publish a paper did you okay you learned you got these skills okay okay you hope to contribute okay. i i feel you can do more you can do more there's still more that can be done about this you can go deeper you can talk about okay i worked because one thing that professors also do is that they have the they usually if you mention a particular let's say you work in a particular lab i work to professor um professor, let's say professor justin for instance and then you say i work in professor justin's lab yeah i did this so when they read your essay they can just go to their linkedin and search for who is professor justin in the university of Ibadan, and then they're like okay mm, he's actually a well learned man and then you feel like okay this person has um this person is a is a voice or he's noteworthy in this particular field and so you can see he, the fact that you worked with him means that you must know what you are doing you must have you must know your thoughts and so talk about these things in more detail talk about how i contributed how i have made maybe pcr how uh how the pcr made you become more passionate about research or be, made you more aware of um the bad defects something like that so be more specific and i like the fact that i like the way you ended i like that you talked about um uh why this particular school so you have um somewhere yes yes yeah, so you 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 have comment you mentioned why like good reason for choosing this school which is wonderful but since uh phd is um, a research um is, is, is like phd's are uh, research degrees i feel you can also talk about particular profs that are interested in their work since you are probably most likely going to work be assigned a supervisor and so right now you should be like okay i'm interested in working in this particular person's lab and then i'm interested in this kind of research you should be talk about your who you want to work with because they want to say that okay you're interested in this research but who amongst us now in this department is in that kind of research you should know that if you are applying to that school so state that so state that so final thing yeah, i would say is um uh comments talk about not two not two professors right so but overall i feel this sop is is a good sop one you're able to show why like from your problem statement you want to solve bad defects which is good um you will have um some your from your degree in biochemistry you're able to say that okay i have the background to work in this field and then also through your undergraduate degree and your volunteer experience make sure that you don't just care about this degree you also want to help people you want to help people better their lives by ending this bad effects of a thing and then this is why you chose this school but i feel that you should talk more about the school one about the professors that you want to work with i feel you should remove the floor for instance in this particular paragraph you can talk with more specific couples names call what you did in particular and what your achievements are from there and also also the paragraph one and paragraph two you can combine them into one paragraph and remove all the extra redundant sentences that are not required make sure that every single sentence like i said is impactful so that when whoever reads it reads it is like this is good i want this person i want this person i want this person to come and join me in my lab so i hope you got that docas docas can you get did you get that all right so um let's go to the next one um is if you have any comments about the sop you can also say that in the chat box uh if you have um, any questions if you feel like there's a contribution you notice something the person did not add you can also say that also in the chat box i have posted the link to the um the uh stream yard if you want to join me like i said i want those that i'm giving the sops so that i can ask you i'll be like what does this mean and you can tell me so i'm going to post that link to the stream yard so you can join me and then i can talk to you on on this live so i can ask you why you did this or what exactly you're trying to communicate Hope you're following all right all right okay so um next person should be um number three is um sunday so sunday all right sunday let's look at sunday's sop what's the time now okay from i've used okay from 
used more than the required 10 minutes for Docasis SOP. No, that's not this one. Where's Sunday's one? All right. Sunday. Open. Should we start instead? Okay. It's loading. Okay, so motivation letter, title motivation letter, Sunday Christopher will be that a post scholarship for masters in international development economics. Okay, let's, let's look at this. So growing up in a low-income society, I've been deeply moved by the hardship we endured to, due to social and economic issues, the growing gap between affluent and disadvantage, propelled by rampant unemployment, versus poverty and elevated literature has etched clear lines in society. Has etched clear lines in society. Okay, sorry, let me carry on. Has edge clear lines in society as I observe the profound impacts of these challenges and countless lives in Nigeria. No green comment has ignited within me. This drive compels me to contribute to my country's progress. I'll aim mean to uh, alleviate these issues and post a biography for all. Okay, so uh, from this paragraph, I can see that you are uh, moved about people's poverty. Um, you want to contribute to um, reduce the gap between each and the poor. This is what I get from the first paragraph. The grammar seems okay and uh. I, I can see this is where your this is like the, the 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 reason why you apply for this particular scholarship or this particular research program. Okay, so my quest for a better Nigeria. Okay, so let me just highlight and talk about that. Um, nice, nice, a wonderful, nice introduction. Introduction. So my quest for a better Nigeria led me to join the Young African Leaders. Network, okay. I currently serve as the okay. Wow, the Yari Network is an initiative launched by the United States government. Okay, okay, to strike. Okay, I, I, I don't, I feel this is this isn't necessary. This isn't necessary. This isn't necessary. This is a uh, uh, comment. This isn't necessary because if or this isn't necessary, this isn't necessary. Or find a way or summarize it or rephrase it rather because it's like you've left you're applying for or everything scholarship that equals scholarship in economics and then you're not talking about reality which is not really relevant i mean you can say like one sentence about it and say this is why this is important reality is like one big thing and this is why you should it helps you it should help you consider me more for this particular position because it's why but then it's using three four sentences no 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 it's too much and then you okay i discovered that youth empowerment can be used to propel nigeria's economic advancement and harness the substantial potential of the country's population which can bring numerous benefits to the economy since the youth population accounts for okay okay this part this part here i feel this part here should be part of your introduction of your part of this paragraph since it's still part since it's still introducing us, since it's still and still it's still like an introduction. All right, so through my involvement with Yulai Network, I've had a previous engagement in civic investors from community service projects to advocacy campaigns, all aimed at addressing various developmental challenges in Africa. This opportunity introduced me to us. Okay, okay. I led a visionary team in campaign. Okay, so um, these here now, these now is the uh, most important thing in this SOP. You have all these other parts is just a uh, story. This part now is what you have done through this yardy network. Um, let me okay, let me let me mark that out. So this is your, this is the thing you did. This is three yardy you led a visionary team, and then you did this, and these are the results. So you did a visionary team in the campaign against youth employment and then you give them help them get skills and fish farming and the rest and then through this you were able to hone your policy advocacy and stakeholder engagement skills these are that things every other single thing here is nah, you can find a way to say it in one or two sentences not important so sir several lead humanitarian services and organizations are actively with it get it with really, improving lives exercise and ngo driving change through community projects empowerment initiatives and okay okay like i said don't spend too much time talking about the organization you are trying to sell yourself to these people so talking about a different organization that's not relevant to what you are doing i mean i i i i'm not i'm not 
I'm, I'm not going to hire if I'm the professor. I'm not trying to hire several different training initiative to come and work for me. I'm trying to get. I'm hiring a student. I want a student who I feel is very good, who can produce the results I need. And so you should find a way to make every single thing about yourself, your contributions, your skill sets, your achievements. How exactly I'm fit for this program? You try to limit how much time you spend talking about things that are not really necessary to your application. So this. So, but then from this point, I was involved in organizing projects for yes, yes, yes. This is this is this is it now. This is it. So here you are talking about you are talking about your contributions. Contributions. Contributions, what you did. This is what is important because they don't want to, they're not interested in, oh, I I I I I went to somewhere and the place I went to was a big place. No, no, they're talking about what did you do? It's not about how big the place is, except it's maybe a, a very like let's say you went to you, you, you want maybe Mandela scholarship to get go to the Mandela Fellows Award or one of our big scholarship that they know okay, this is this is good. But if it's not if the name is not recognizable at a glance, if I if I can just look at it and say, okay, this thing is big. Then there's no need to spend so much time talking about where exactly that is. All right. So during my undergraduate studies, okay, I became in, intrigued. All right. Okay. Okay. Your undergraduate degree coursework in okay. <clears> Through <throat> this coursework, I honed my quantitative process. Uh, okay. Okay. This is nice. This is nice. I like the fact that you talked about what kind of things you learned. Nice. Nice. Talks about background. Okay. I'm applying for master's international, okay, because I find it will give me the landscape and knowledge, okay, okay. Um, media programmer, HTTP, because of the strong person in the, in the program that will allow me to play my knowledge and rewards entry, more modules, internships, hands on opportunities. Ha, <sighs> okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. That a post scholarship which enables the recipient to contribute to our future. Uh, with less poverty, more education, to acquire continuous knowledge and establish lifelong connections in my children's field, the person development. Hmm. Okay, first, let me talk about this paragraph here. Um, uh, this is um, too generic. Generic. You mentioned programs, but you didn't mention which particular ones. You mentioned professors, but you didn't mention any particular one programs but you didn't give examples examples mention professors but you didn't talk about any professor so you don't want that you don't want that you don't want someone to just be like um just nah, it's not it's not it's not it doesn't come across as someone has done research on what you are doing so i know you are interested in this particular program at hcw berlin and you are interested because of the uh reward setting through program or these internships your how you implement your knowledge but you can talk about, let's say they have a particular center, let's say center for um, um, corporate social, social responsibility. You'd be like, I'm interested in working because of this center where I can go and do this. So you are not giving specific examples showing that you have done your work, your research about the school. I hope you follow me. You follow me Sunday. So I think you should implement that. And then, of course, you can end this better. You can end this better. You can find a way to connect. So you connect. So connect your career goals. What do you want to be in future? goals to this program showing how the skills you acquire will help you help you in that aspiration all right so this is it and then i feel whenever you are doing whenever you are writing an sop you should know that this is like this is the professors may never interview you it depends on what kind of program you're applying for. They may never get to meet you. So this is you selling yourself. And if you can't sell yourself properly, then no one will buy. So you don't want to spend so much time selling someone else, trying to talk about people that are not really relevant. They're not, they're not, that is not you. Talk about yourself, talk about what you've done, talk about what you want to do when you get there. Talk about how this school will help you do that. And so when you do these things, you'll be able to produce an SOP that communicates effectively your abilities and showcases you as a strong candidate for that program. I hope you're following me. Okay, so um, that is that. And so um, it is, yes, like E.G. says, E.G. says, poverty is a broad concept. Be more specific. So you, you, your genericness will actually be the death of an SOP if you are too generic. It is better that you talk, you are very specific, and it gets to the point that even the professors be like, 
how exactly how deep did you go? I mean, it's too deep, it's too but then it shows that you've done your research. It shows that you've done the research, and then that's how you want to come across as someone that has done his research. Because when you are applying for this graduate program, they want to show they want you to be someone that can work independently. All right. Okay, so um the next person, so this is it. Um uh, is I'm um, Sunday here. Sunday, can you please um talk about so what can you comment in the chat box what exactly you are going to implement on your SOP from now to uh from what I've just said, what do you think you, should, you are going to implement on this SOP? How can you make it better or make it stronger? Sunday? Is Sunday here? Mm. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so Sunday is in here. So I'd hope he, he would come back and he will see this and um, implement those changes. So the next one is, um, who is, the, who is the next person on the list? Um, I think number one was Dorcas, number two was George, number three was uh, Sunday, number four was Megamino. So Megamino, have you sent your SOP? Megamino. I haven't seen Megamino's SOP. So who is number five? Okay, I should share the email address again. Okay. So the email address is ask. Can all of us see the okay? Let me share here. Ask Barbara Sue at gmail.com. That's the email address. So that's it. So that's the email address. So if you haven't sent that, so number four, Mega I haven't seen number four's email address. Who, who's number five? Number five. Number five is Gabriel Obodai. Number six is Simon Pay. Okay, so let me um check. Okay. So number five is Gabriel Obadai. Is Gabriel Obadai is on here? Gabriel. Uh, I can't see Gabriel Obadai's um, SOP. Gabriel Obadai, can you send your SOP to at askbarbara2 at gmail.com? While we are waiting for Gabriel's own, let me go to the next person. Number six is um, Simon P from South Sudan. Simon P, have you sent your SOP to this email? Let me refresh without anyone to come in. Simon Pay. Simon Pay, I haven't seen your SOP. Please resend it. Send just send the link to the Google Doc, the Google Docs where you created or where you wrote down the SOP and share it to the email address. Let me open it using the Google Docs. So Simon Pay, I haven't seen your SOP. Simon Pay number six. I haven't seen that. Number seven is um uh a Muhammad. Adamu Mohammed from Ghana. So Adamu Mohammed, have you shared? Okay, yes. Adamu Mohammed has shared his SOP. So um all the others I have called their names. Um Simon Pay, uh um, who else? Who else did I call? Simon Pay, Gabriel Obadai. Please send your SOP to send the link of the Google Docs where you saved your SOP to ask to ask Barbara to at gmail.com. I hope you have sent the email address I put in the in the comments chat box. Can all of us see it? Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, but before we continue, um, there is this um link I sent to the um um what they call it to this link to the uh, to the chat box is a spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet, let me share this tab so I can just talk about it briefly. So basically, I said we have accountability partners, and so. I sent a link to this spreadsheet earlier on in this in the broadcast, and I said so. Number one and number two, their accountability partners. So they basically review their documents. They look at it. Okay, I sent my own to number one, sends to number two, number two sends to number one, and then they they find a way to help themselves better their application. So if it's the SOP, if it's the CV, if it's the whatever it is that they are reviewing, so they help as I have made corrections, as Barbara and other facilitators have made corrections. The two people are partners to make sure that they're accountable to themselves, make sure that each one does the best work possible. So um, I will send the link again. So number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, just paired up like that as partners. So if you haven't done so, please do so in the, you fill up the, um, excuse me, let me send the link. Let me see. Mm. 
Mm. So I, I, I've sent the link. So you fill up your details and then whoever you are paired up with, you contact the person, send him an email, and then both of you will now work together on the SOP or on the CV or whatever you guys are working on. But keep yourselves accountable to make sure that every single person delivers his best work. So if that's the aim to make sure that each one of us we give our best work. And so the next person to review the SOP is Adam Mohammed. Since I haven't seen Simon P and uh, Gabriel Obadai, I haven't seen Simon P and Gabriel Obadai. So next is um, Mohammed Adamu from Ghana. All right. Google Docs. Share the stab instead. All right. So, statement of purpose: Adam Mohammed, PhD applicant, PhD applicant, business administration. Nice title, I like it. I'm applying to your prestigious university for PhD program in business administration with constitutional accounting and Carlson School of Management. Very, very, very impactful. Going straight to the point. I remember when I was at the age of eight years, when a meeting was held at my locality for the unit committee chair members to come and make accountability for the community. That was a child I went on and out to know what's going on going on so i i'm not going to correct your grammatical errors so your you should just put that through grammarly or whatever grammar editor you have and make sure that all the grammatical errors are removed so my own is to just look at your sop and see whether it, it's 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 accurately conveys you as a strong candidate for whatever school you're applying to so <clears throat> the member in charge of the finance aspect of the community is, in fact was someone who lacked from my education and we handed it it was very clear to the people. It wasn't very clear to the people of the committee. This brought about a whole of key on misunderstanding about any committee members and the people of the people of the community and the meeting grounds, and the matter was only resolved at the chief's palace. Okay. I do not see how this is relevant to what you're applying to. Okay, I understand that um there's a story, something happened when you're young, but then how is this relevant? Like, can someone in the chat box tell you how this is relevant to what he's doing? You you do not you, you do not communicate what you learn from there. How is this relevant? So your the, the thing, let me add on that comment is um talk about how this about how this generated an interest in business admin, since that's what you want to do. Business admin. So I was always happy if I am to resolve issues with this financial matter. So you you just left this sentence and then you, you jumped to a new one. You, le you left this particular paragraph. You didn't com completely convey any, you didn't close it. You just left it hanging. No, I can't see, or the professor won't be able to see where exactly this contributed to your application. You can't see why this mix, why exactly are you telling me this story? How is that going to help me choose a candidate for my, my, my laboratory? How is it going to help me choose a candidate for my school? It makes no sense. So I was always happy if I'm to resolve issues relating to financial matters with this. I opt in for business program at any time when I was in high school. Okay. Um, please try to call me senior accountant. You had a degree certificate. I'm talk about professional. Um, Mohammed, I, I I I like the fact that you are talking about this SOP is you because I figured out sometimes that people use chat GPT to generate SOPs, and then it is it, even though it, it makes sense to the please don't do it because they will catch you. Don't use chat GPT or any other AI model to generate your SOP. They will catch you. I can run it through uh, uh, an AI tool that checks for whether an AI wrote it easy or not. And if a professor checks and it shows that AI wrote it, there's no way, no, there's no way they'll give you admission. So I like the fact that you did this, but you can, you, 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 this needs to be improved. There is too much flow that doesn't make, it doesn't show me why I need to consider it for this PhD. I can, okay, of the call this in your account, why is that my business? How can you benefit my program? That's what I'm looking for. So if they call this in account and because you always solve problems using some tools that are, I may see that, okay, these are relevant to this program. Of course, then it's good to state that. But if it's not relevant, don't put it. Put things that will only make you appear as a strong candidate, make your application stronger. So with this, I realized I have to follow the path since the principles governing accounting are easy for me. So um, let me highlight this and talk about this. Um, okay. Comment. So avoid redundancy. Dancy and talk about things. Things relevant. Things relevant things relevant to the program.
it's no it's nobody's business that you, you are called a senior town town no offense so one has to complete a mandatory teaching service before getting okay all right you thought so this is good this here is good the fact that you thought yes you've shown that now what did that teaching create in you what what skills did you get from that teaching experience so um okay too too much let me choose a life i want all right so this is good but still what what did this create what did this create in you create in you what achievements did you get by teaching what did you teach what did you do and how exactly did this improve you so for commission of mandatory studies yeah i was a one year mandatory service to our nation okay invest of minus technology all right yeah after that yeah old accounts okay okay you work with this person uh you worked okay to which i can follow my study suddenly i work with dr ernest uh we are helping him write as closing reviews and also helping him with an analysis of smart pls wonderful smart pls mentioning smart PLS, mentioning exactly what you do mentioning particular technologies particular skills particular two sets you work with okay so was working on research topic with him where i came by research or the name of professor helen zhang took time to go through our work and i can see that my research interest is similar to her what is that research interest so what is that research interest interest okay i'm happy if i get to work on that professor helen zhang okay very good you mentioned someone you're interested in one may ask for a phd imagine service constitution accounting the main objective is to prepare students for professional careers okay mm. uh, i just inspired you to the nature of the country i'm coming from many validators like the idea of accountability this is like a a, a third introduction i doing in the middle of the SOP when you should be talking about your feet with the program talking about your, your background talking about your research experience talking about your teaching experience this is this this is this is this is not this is not good you should by now you should have been done with how, how your leaders are uh, whatever they did in your country to what you are going to do your leaders did it in paragraph one in paragraph three paragraph four this is what i want to do this is what i have already done in the past and this is how this is going to help me do what i want to do so you 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 you, you should you should you should delete this or find a way to um add this if it's necessary add this to your introduction if it's necessary if necessary if if Right, so I chose PhD in um business and because of the short and long term plans I have. Some of the short term plans has to be organizing of seminars and public education to communities. Okay, this is what you want to do. Having the experience with senior excuse me, man, I have some confidence. So, where did you teach? What did you do? Be more specific, specific now. You this of so. I have some confidence level in me to know in which no and complete is also never why invest on this because the university comes out with a modern facilities take care of the university students. What facilities in particular? Don't be generic. You like I said, I'll keep on reiterating this until we, we get this. So you don't be generic, be specific. If you mention automatic facilities, what are they? Mention one. If it's a lab, mention it. If it's a building, mention it. If it's a if it's a chair, mention it. Mention it. So mention it. So there are also people from more walks of life. Who are those people? Okay, okay, this is okay. This is not about the professors. These are the are people from more walks of life here that presents the opportunity to learn both from both academic and social life from this background. Across. Okay, um, and kind of unfortunately finished on this program. Even even you lack the field. Okay, grammatical error. This is also a reason why I chose university. I'm not studying in my home country. This university will make a difference. Okay. Self driven, I want to be self driven. I want to be to do more. All right, I like this one. Good, you can. This is this is okay. This means that I've gone there to the websites. It is okay. Means you've checked. Means you've done and some research. All right, all right. So, um, the skills which I will gain through my career studies will surely help me in being a more complete professional in my field and help me gain more knowledge on the global markets what skills are those that you will learn in that field you you um overall this sop like i like i have like we just went through it together Mohammed, i hope you, you are taking notes 
you you need to communicate you need to sell yourself this is what i'll keep on saying you need to sell yourself your sop should be able to show why a background to why you want to do this program you should be able to show your your relevant experiences post research and teaching mentioning specifically what you contributed to those to those experiences what you did and your achievements you should be able to show why you fit with this school which particular professor which particular um um maybe laboratory or which particular course what facilities mention them but in give specific examples that show you have done your work on done your research on this school and then furthermore you should be able to show that uh these are my career goals i want to be a teacher in future i want to be a lecturer in future i want to do get in the industry i want to become a president whatever but you need to show that this is how this school you're preparing for that by by giving me maybe a platform to lead or maybe helping me to teach people or giving me a platform to volunteer this is how this prepares me for that so by mentioning specific examples being given achievements if you like now you talked about how you were uh, um uh, they use question account that let's say you have an achievement you are the best in your class or you wrote a paper that got published somewhere mention those because it helps show you that you are well prepared to talk because graduate school is not easy so they must show that you are strong you have the abilities to take on this graduate school and succeed succeed so that is it and i hope you're able to take these things and apply them review this sop because you don't just write an sop and then submit you keep on reviewing it and reviewing it until you get a perfect or not really perfect but a very very good document that accurately represents your achievements and strengthens whatever cv or other documents you are going to submit okay so um so uh, i hope is is mohammed here mohammed can you please um mohammed is mohammed here he's not here whoa if he's not here then uh how will he um how will he defend his questions or he will just look at why no no it's, it's it's not right it's not right okay 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 so let's let's um review um one more sop one sop not one more anyways let's review one sop um who's one uh, who's who's the next person after muhammad has simon pay sent his sop yet um Simon P hasn't sent his SOP of um Simon P no SOP yet. Oh no, no, not good. Oh Gabriel Lobodai. Gabriel Lobodai hasn't sent his SOP yet. Okay. Okay, so I want us to this particular SOP, I want us to uh, just look at it and then what are your comments about what do you think he should he didn't do well and what do you think he should do? better Mohammed's sop what do you think he didn't do well and how do you think he can strengthen his application just write what you think in the comment box so like, let's let's look at it um okay so no comments yet all right okay so let's go to the next person um the next question should be since i haven't seen uh gabriel obadai and simon bay the next should be um larry larry from cameroon larry from cameroon so larry blanche this is it okay <clears throat> Larry Blanche. Oh, Google Docs. Okay, so um, no title, but um, companies are the cornerstone of today's global economy. Is Larry Blanche? Is Larry Blanche, please indicate if you're online. If you are with us here, can you write? Just say hey on the chat box so that I can know you are here with us. Larry Blanche. Larry, Larry, is Larry here? Is Larry here? Okay, okay. Larry Blanche is 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 present. All right, so um, let's 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 do that. So companies are the cornerstone of today's global economy. They produce goods and services for markets around the world and compete with one another to satisfy their respective clients. Increasingly, companies are becoming more data driven and thus they are basing their business decisions on all the digital data collected across supply chain, also in the speed of 
innovation of this new era, engineers are being increasing, increasingly brought to the decision tables to analyze and interpret data to help make fast and robust economic decisions and apply engineering management skills to the early engineering teams to exploit new news, new opportunities and develop smart products, platforms, and services. Management engineering is a set of a set of decisions that companies have to, to take in such an engine environment. Um uh no, 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 no. This is this is uh this is this is an introduction. I can see that you uh I can't okay, I can't see anything actually. What exactly what okay, what what is the aim of this paragraph? What are you trying trying to communicate? What are you trying to communicate? I, I really can't make sense of it. I don't I don't know. So what are you trying to communicate? What are you trying to say? Okay. Are you trying to show your research interest? Are you trying to show um um your background? Are you trying to show how exactly you got interested in this? Because I understand our companies are the cornerstone of yes, but then I I they, they say it was too long. I I I got lost in the middle and I can't seem to see what you are trying to communicate. So be more be more specific. Remove things that just three four lines. This is the background. This is what all companies are doing. Or five lines. And then this is why because of this is the problem I see in what they are doing. And this is why I'm choosing this program. And then you now start talking about start developing on that idea. So becoming a management engineer is the next step of my career, taking a leap and honing technical abilities while also gaining um excuse me business and management skills is the idea for me. This form the basis resulting in my choice of pushing a, a laurea magistrate in management engineering from Polytechnico di Milano. Launching my own juice company has given me the ability to up optimize in purchasing new machinery to produce more juice within a short time and also risk calculation when planning to launch a new product ah uh, hey 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 larry what are you doing what, what what are you doing what are you doing this is this this is yeah there is too much to be here there isn't i can't i can't even see your launching your own juice company yes but goodness excuse let me close this Um, let me comment this up. Let me comment this. David is killing you. Eh? This looks like it was generated by ChatGPT. <laughs> I won't lie. It was generated by AI. I can't see the humanity in your text. I can't. I can't even get across to what you want to. Why are you communicating? You want a. What I can't remember what you what are you applying for again? Uh okay. There is I don't know what you are applying for. I don't see your background. I okay, you've you've sent management engineer. I I I I am lost really. But let me continue. Um maybe it makes sense as, as we go down. Being an elevating above my person in my quest to understand and resolve the challenges I had, I decided to study management books and text. Okay, all right. This book really helped me to understand how multipliers get more done with your resources. Okay, okay, you have you are this from here now. I can I can see something, something that interests me. You've shown how a book. If you've, you've shown how a book. Shown. Have, have shown some background knowledge experience some background knowledge so and how the knowledge helps you cultivate understand how much players get more done with fair resources okay you have shown how, what you have gotten from your book the only employers in my juice company has not only empowered me leadership skills but hasn't allowed me to gain sense of how different companies within a business work to achieve one common goal okay this has allowed me to see how employees are recruited what it fits. Why? Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Um, can you guys hear me?
Um, hello. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, as we are waiting for um, David to join, um, how is the live going so far? And Precious, I saw your email. Um, kindly listen to what's being done here, and you send the email to the right um, place or the right um, link. Who's in, um, whose SOP was uh, David reviewing before I joined it? And how has the session been so far? Let me know in the comment section. Are you guys learning from it? Is he doing an amazing job? Okay, perfect. Whose SOP was he reviewing before he left? I'm trying to find it and take um David was reviewing Larry Blanche. Okay. After after Larry, who is next? Okay, perfect. I'm I'm glad to know that. Who is after Larry? Who is SOP's nurse after Larry? Can I know the, in the comments who is after Larry? I'll start reviewing that as we wait for David. Anu Olawapo. Okay. Have you shared your, your SOP already? Um, okay. So, Larry, when David comes, David will continue because he has already started. I don't want to continue for that, but I will do for Anu. Have you sent your SOP, Anu? Anu Olawapo. Please, is it John or? Um, I don't know yet, um, Bassett. David will have to come and answer for that because he started and I don't know the the structure he's going with. So when he comes, he'll figure, he'll, he'll tell us, okay? Please, is it John or uh, uh, Anuluapo? Please, let's be honest, okay? And we are waiting, we are waiting time so but i knew only what your number 11. john what is your number okay i did your blue and new lapo um um you need to give me access i don't have access you need to give access to it so i've requested access after i knew Oluwapo, who is next Um, John is number eight. Okay, so I'm gonna look for John. John. John Adeyemi. Okay. John Adeyemi. Okay. Um, John, you need to share to the email because this you've just attached to it. Um, I'm assuming he showed you guys how to share share to the email. Open it in Google Docs and share it again to me. Who is after John? Number seven is Mohammed. Um, please look at how you share it. You open your document. You go to share. You go to the share button here.
and you put the email address. You put the email address and you, uh, you give me access and I'll access it. So I'm going to the next person. So please do that. Uh, Adamu, um, who is number seven? Adamu Mohammed. Okay. Adamu Mohammed. Adamu Mohammed, please do the same thing. Share directly to the to the email. Don't send it as a, an attachment. I'm gonna do Adamu Mohammed, but please the rest kindly share it directly to the email address. Don't send it as an attachment. Open it with Google Docs and share with the email. And the purpose why you are doing that is to when we make any edits, is to allow you to see those edits. Okay, so we are going to start. Send. If you want to put your name, you can do it here at the start, okay? During my formative years, I was captured by the potential of computers, even though I lagged at test to one. My interest only grew strong over time after high school. I had the opportunity to attend a computer training where I found a computer training where I found my other. I was a middle engineer, I forgot for my bachelor's degree. I was not in the computer department, only third, I paid additional computing hardware and software knowledge through a diploma program. This is not only improved my academic performance, but also deepened my IT expertise. My should prevented me from pursuing, but I could not enhance my This is a, a, a job, okay? Your introduction is too long. Um, too long introduction. So from this, um, you guys, listen, I wasn't here from the beginning. So you need to be honest with each other. You need to help each other because I don't know who is number one, who is number two. So. I'm only taking what you guys told me to review. So don't let somebody who just came cause you. So you need to be honest. So after Adamu Mohammed, please uh, let me know your names and your numbers. After Poli, um, who was he reviewing? Did he finish reviewing? Poli, did he finish reviewing your SOP? If he didn't, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll review it. Unfortunately, he has some technical issues. So let me know after Polly. Polly, who was after you? So um, this introduction, too long an introduction. You are talking about because when I started, I thought you were doing IT, but then you studied engineering. And um, stick to one. If you want to talk about your engineering story or your IT story, please stick to, to one. And your introduction is too long. This and this can be one one paragraph or one introduction. So when I could afford it, I enrolled in a postgraduate diploma program in information technology and achieved outstanding results. Even by my belief in the potential of IT to positively impact, I'm now applying for my... This also still looks like the introduction. So it's like three paragraphs for introduction, no? No. What you can do is you can start that... Even though my bachelor's degree was in engineering, I've always had like interest in IT. So I self-enrolled in a postgraduate diploma in information technology and achieved outstanding results. You can summarize all this into one paragraph. Talk about the fact that you have a background in engineering, but you're interested in IT. And because of that, you, you, you took a postgraduate diploma, um, a postgraduate course in that. And um, where is John? John Adayemi? You understand what I'm coming? I'm... Yes, Adamu, it's not yours, it's for John because I couldn't get access to your document. So you need to give me access. Considering the significant, considering the significant contributions that have been made to IT by professors like Professor, to mention if you look forward to the experience of him, oh, no, 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 no. What experience? What, what, what is it? What experience have they made? Have they made? You need to be specific. You need to say that because they, they've done so many things. So you need to be 
specific about what exactly experience they've made that is of interest to you. Northwest University is definitely a place I would like to take my career in IT to the next level. Working as a network administrator in my organization, I've developed so much interest in it with experience in both cable and wireless platform. But MSIT at Northwest University, I will acquire better theoretical hands on experience about the science behind how networks are built. I intend to further research in a doctorate. Mm, rephrase, rephrase. I still don't get what you are trying to put across. Working as an ICT academic tutor, I've imbibed the habit of being a continuous learner, open to new ideas in the implementation of IT that can help me interact with my learners. This has continuously improved the performance of the learners, both in theoretical and practical tests, as proven by their impressive grades and testimony from the graduates. This looks good. Good, but you're missing something. Good. but missing your specific contribution. And this is the rule of thumb you should all use when you are writing your, your SOP is uh, when you state the activity or project, you state your specific contribution and you state the quantifiable outcome. What does this mean? Working as an ICT academic tutor, so that is your project, the, the activity you are doing is you are working as an ICT academic tutor. Okay, this is not necessarily right, okay. So you work as an ICT academic tutor um, and you've improved the performance of learners both in theoretical and practical tests as proven by, so this is the outcome is the impressive grades and testimonies from the graduates. What, what exactly did you do? What exactly did you do for the learners to get impressive grades? What is the impressive grade? What is the impressive grade? You have to be very specific. You should state exactly what it is, what is the impressive grades? What is the test, what is the impressive grades? What is the testimony? Please state exactly what it is. Don't, don't just be making statements. This attribute will enhance a collaborative and healthy interactive experience with my classmates. Um, just a minute, let me check on David. Okay. Okay. So, um, who, um, John, what number did you say you were? John, let me know the number you said you were. Um, okay. This attribute will enhance a collaborative and healthy interactive experience with my classmates and cohort group members in whatever task we are engaging. Okay, with the aim of learning and improving upon any setbacks we experience, I will team up with others to strengthen our positive abilities and results, finding new ways of achieving success with whatever real life. Um... I, I don't understand this. Um, I understand, but what attribute exactly? Exactly are you talking about? Your learners, your your learners, um, your learners' impressive grades. Please, um, structure, structure, and coherency is very important. Like when you are talking about something, you can't just move from one thing and just jump to to another, because here you are talking about you being an academic ICT academic tutor. Then now you're talking about your learners having impressive grades, and you're talking about your these attributes, um, enhanced collaborative and healthy interaction. I, I don't understand, like the flow of thought is not continuous. So having read in education sector and experience first on how IT has helped my learners to overcome their limitations and achieve beyond their imagination. I'm determined to sound the replicate this experience more than it's my country, or less prepared like I was. This is good, but how? Good, but how? Do you want to do this? 
with my research, with my research aspirations, with my, I, I'm confident to also make insightful impact like the professors had my, and become an alumni should be proud to identify with how, how do you want to do this? In pursuit of my goal as a researcher, I seek to align myself with a distinguished community of dedicated professionals who possess the skills and determination to exceed their targets in the IT field. Enrolling in Northwest University not only offers me the chance to engage with exceptionally impactful instructors. I'm done reading, but I don't know you, John. Um, comments. I don't know you. Uh, I don't think I know you. I know you. Uh, I, I can't, I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember most of the things I've read. Not specific, not specific. And not coherent. This is very important. Your errors of you should be coherent. Once I'm done, I should have a fair idea about you. Your errors of is about you. The only thing I remember is you studied something in you studied in you did something in engineering, but you're interested in IT and you took yourself to have the IT degree. That's the only thing I remember about you. But apart from that, I don't I don't remember anything. Your SOP should be about you. Your SOP should be said that once I'm done, I should have a fair idea of who you are. John, let me know in the comment section, what exactly do I need you to do to improve your SOP? Who is after John? I'm also going to share, I made a playlist on how to write the SOP, each section, what to include. I'm going to recommend that to you. Take your time and also watch, watch that. So. You go to my channel, you go to playlist. Wait, I'm coming. Please, who is after John? John, I'm waiting for you. What do I need you to do to your SOP? And who is after John? So you go to my channel, you go to playlist. Then you go to writing an effective statement of purpose. This will take you to how to write everything from the beginning to the end. The people who also watch, what are some of the feedback you have for John? Let me know in the comment section the feedback you have for John. So fetch is after John. Okay. We are going back again to the but fetch, you just sent your email. So what makes you what what shows that you after John? Fetch, what's your number? Fetch, what's your number? Let me know your number. Hello, David. Um, sorry um, for the interruption. Um, sorry, I don't know what to say now. Okay, that's okay, that's fine. Um, how did you give them the number? How do you know who is after who? Okay, so I gave them from one to ten. So number one was um, Dockers, number two was, uh, um, okay, uh, uh, Son Sunday, number three was George, number four, was um, how wh how do you have it? Where's the names? Can you send it to me on WhatsApp? But did you finish reviewing the one you were reviewing? Did you finish a person's document? Um, no, I was reviewing the Blanche, L L somebody Blanche. I, I was midway. Okay, okay, please yes. send me the person's name and um, send me the okay. list like how, how you are reviewing, how you are reviewing oh, the okay. document so that I know. It, it's already in Google Docs, right? We're reviewing it in Google Docs. Yes, I would open it on the mail and then I'll open the email okay. and then I'll get 
the SOP and then I'm going to Google Docs. Okay, because I want to try that. Um, who is number nine? Who is number nine? Because the person who is telling me is number who is number nine on your list. Um, number nine. Okay, let me uh, because I haven't opened I haven't opened the list yet. Okay. Um. So number one is um. No, because you've already done number one, so I'm not interested. Uh, because I just finished reviewing John. Who is after John? It's John. It's John. John from Nigeria. I don't know what his last. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know I've, what. I finished reviewing John. Who is after John? Okay, no, I haven't. I, I can't remember now. I because the list was on the laptop. Ah, okay. You didn't do it on the accountability partner list. You sent you. You were numbering it at another a different place. Are you there, John? Um, uh, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to, okay, you said, okay. So, okay, so people are saying that Fetchy is after John. So Fetchy, I'm gonna do police on, then afterwards I'll go back to Fetchy. Okay, that's okay. Who is after Fetchy? Okay, so let's go to Polly. Polly, please, are you here? Okay, I'm, I'm sure Polly is not your name. So Blanche, um, the one, this SOP, please, where are you? Okay, as I'm waiting, because you have to be here when I'm reviewing it. So if you are not here, I'm going to the next person and be coherent with it. Exactly, good, John. That is it. So we are going to, David, are you there? Okay, so I'm going to fetch you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, how many numbers did you give? I gave it just 13. 13, okay. So yes. uh, I'm number nine right now. Um, I finished um, the, okay, so fetch is number nine, okay. Okay. Please, um, whose SOP is this on the screen? Okay, so since I can't see this person, I'm going to review fetch you. So Larry the Blanche, are you there? Yeah, it's, it's Larry, Larry Blanche. Blanche is old. But where's Larry was, Blanche? Was yeah, but because I need to see her. Larry Blanche, where are you? Okay, you are not here, so let's go to Fetchy. Mwana um, Fetchy, okay. Open. Um, Fetchy, are you here? Okay, so Fetchy, I want to see you before we start. Can you say hello to me? Fetchy, if you don't respond, I'll go to the next person. Who is after Fetchy? Um, who is after Fetchy? Can you guys hear me? Because I, I need to be sure... Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, you guys can hear me because but lord what is what is your number yeah but lord what is your number And to us, you open your Google Drive and you upload your document there. Okay, you're here. Um, Lord, what is your number? It's based on numbers. First come, so fetch you. Let's go. Let's start. During my penultimate year as an undergraduate of pharmacy, I joined an inter-school centralization on Brian. 
Being positioned of distribution flyers was my first role in leadership and opened my eye to the need of quality and accessible healthcare systems in my country. Love it. I like the way like you, you've set the tone, which is nice. By witnessing first and the effects of lack of information, by witnessing first and the health effects and lack of information had in my society and the environment, I became interested in dissecting the challenges involved in disease control and prevention. With this, I know that she, she wants to do something with information, lack of information in the health. Over the next few months, I engage in health talks and exchange innovative ideas with my peers to promote the control of infection in my state of residence. Awesome. And this is how this is how your, your thought process should flow. She talked about the fact that she joined an inter-school sensitization on this. She was put in charge and she, she saw like the need for quality and accessible healthcare system in the country. She saw that the lack of information was a problem. And afterward, like, okay, it's a problem. How do I solve it? So she solved it by engaging the health talks. Like, so that is it. Sweet, straight to the point, nice. The next year, I joined a community pharmacy for a six month training to gain the important knowledge of the healthcare environment. My coursework in public health disinfection have to shape a career as a training pharmacist. I also accumulated professional experience in, okay? I went along. I worked, side, I worked alongside a team of five graduate students and faculty to present a case study on the economic, okay? Not bad, but grocery list. Not bad, but grocery list. Why is this important? Why is this important? What did you learn? I'm going back to what I said about John's SOP. Grocery list is, I did this, I did that, I did that. So what? Why should I care? For everything you state, you state the project or activity. Your specific contribution. and quantifiable outcome. So which is very important. So you joined a pharmacy for six month training. So this is it. So this is the activity. When in this six month training program, what exactly did you do? And when you did it, what exactly, res what results did you get? So. As part of the fulfillment for the confirmation of a bachelor's degree in pharmacy, and I took some research training to, to um, I used the absorption of proposed. So this is what she did. I used the absorption of proposed in Gamma Solar and the research results under the guidance of indicates that the problems. This is good. So this one you stated the activity. Good, but rephrase. Um, it's starting to get boring, like um, during my penultimate year, the next year, as part of like, it's starting to get boring. Now you are starting to, it's like, you are telling a story. You don't have to put all these things there, like just tell your story because all these things are taking space. So it's starting good, but rephrase. So um, yeah, these things, as you can go ahead and, and, and tell your story without putting these things the next year or as a fulfillment on all these things. Just go and state exactly what you did. The challenges involved in this study, including access to the active food, my interest in pursuing an administrative career in a pharmaceutical agency to improve equitable access to research materials. So good, but I'm getting a bit confused. I'm getting a bit confused. Confused? Are you interested in um, access to information or access to research materials? Research materials. Stick to one thing. So you need to you need to decide which 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 line of thought you want to go 
And for that line of thought, you need to build up on it because now you are in the next page and you are, you've, you've changed it. So like, what exactly do you want to do? This was also my focal point when I applied for an internship spot after graduation. I satisfied. So like, um, boring because this goes back again to what I talked about um, in the next year, next year, like those things, next year, pen ultimate, like you can, you can do away, you can do away with these things. I satisfy this one year requirement at an establishment with genuine interest in the holistic care of patients. I give presentation on various topics, including, okay, grocery list. Since then, I have tried to enroll in courses that I failed to prepare me for a future in graduate school by studying topics in primary health care and women's health. How does this link to your initial interest of lack of information? So now I'm confused because now you're talking about talking about so many unrelated things. Having just completed a course on public health approaches in fashion, I believe that my rapidly growing background leaves me well prepared to make useful contribution towards Cornell's graduate program. What contributions do you want to make? Um, but see, there yeah, David is with us. What's your question? Ask your question. What, what's your question? What contribution do you want to make? Moving towards graduate school, I'm interested in continuing my study of public health systems. Continue your studies, okay? I didn't even know this was a path you wanted to take, wanted to take. So what do you mean by continuing? So from this, you are saying that this is what you want to do. You want to study public health systems and managing infectious disease. Right from the start, you should make that known that this is what I want to do. And the whole SOP should be built on this. If this is... Um, Lord, how did you get a number? Unfortunately, um, we will not be giving out any numbers anymore because um, we'll be ending soon. So unfortunately, you have to look at how we've been able... We are reviewing the other people and um, you have to use that to review your SOP. So if this is the field you want, the SOP should be built on this right from the beginning. Um, Cornell University presents a fine prospect for first-time professional training with professors in the field of public administration and policy. My choice is based on the availability of a supportive environment to learn the opportunity of an intensive core program to aid in career development, as well as access to learn leadership, business, and analytical skills. How are they doing this? How are they doing this? How are they doing this exactly? Please be specific. State exactly courses. Name those courses. Name those courses. Because you are mentioning a co-op. So I don't know if it's the co-op. Well, I saw, I think I saw co-op. Please correct me. I think I read that they have a co-op, but if they do if it's through those co-op, you need to say that the co-op, the co-op, the co-op is exactly, the co-op is exactly what, because of the co-op, you are going, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. My children better have been supported to learn the opportunity of an intensive co-op program to aid in career development as well as the access to learn. Okay, I'm gonna, how, how are you doing there doing those, exactly, name those courses. How is 
how does the co-op help in your career development? In your career development, you need to be really specific. Uh, as an ambitious goal-oriented individual, I'm convinced that a profession. I, I don't see this. I have not seen. I haven't. I haven't seen these skills in your SOP. If you want to use it, you should in your SOP. You should show how you become you are ambitious, how you are goal oriented. You should show it here before you come here. Because if I don't see it, I'm like, okay, what are you talking about? I'm convinced that professional study at the MHA will better enhance my understanding of innovative public health. The other, I've only scratched the surface of working in the public health system. I would enjoy the opportunity to work on challenges of recognizing rare infectious diseases in their death and disability resulting from the prevalence of such diseases taking a toll on the African population. Thus, I intend to return to the continent post graduation to share insights with other professionals on how we can improve on the system. How do you want to do this? How? How? As an administrator, as a professor, what what exactly? So it just like I said, I, in the beginning it was good, too generic. Please, who is up? Um, What's the name again? Who am I reviewing right now? Um, Fetch, please leave, tell me in the comment section exactly what the problem I've stated with in your SOP and tell me how you plan to solve it. Please, who is after Fetchy? Yes, yeah, so as um, Idris said, I guess Fetchy is not flowing logically. Exactly. It's not flowing logically for me to... Okay, so Fetch, let me know exactly what the problem is and uh, what you need to do. Um, to, um, what did I want to say, comments? Lack of consistency. Consist lack of Lack of consistency. Lack of consistency. Grocery list with no why um, structure issues. Structure issue, um, great intro, but um, the rest doesn't correlate with the intro. Please, who is after Fetchy? Okay, a general can I need to be specific? Great. Who is after Fetchy? Laura, I'm, 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 I'm glad that you are learning a lot already. Yeah, it's the same for me too. It's the same for me too. Great, good. Who is after Fetchy? We are we are always we are wasting um, the time. So let's be let's be quick. Yeah, number eleven. I'm sure we are not yet at number eleven because if Fetchy was Fetchy was number nine, so who is number ten? Who is number ten? If number ten is not here, I'm going to move. I'm going to move to the next person. Okay, so if number number ten is not here, I'm going to I'm moving to Anu Oluapo. So yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so this is Fetchy. Um, where is Sir Jack Bate? Sir Jack Bate, what is your number? You are welcome. And please, if I don't know if the you shared the email with us or not, um, but if I shared with you, kindly download the feedback today because I'll be deleting all of them soon. Okay, you are the owner, so that's good. Great, you are the owner, so that's good. Emmanuel is number 10. Where is Emmanuel? And where is Said Ijagbate? Where is Said? Where is Said? Okay, so Said is not here. Okay, I tried. Where is Emmanuel? Okay, so if Emmanuel is not here, I'm moving on to Anu Oluwapo. Okay. But um, I'm, I'm surprised, um, Anu Adejebu, you are, you are number 10 because your email came at 10.22. So how are you number 10? How are you number 11? Okay, since nobody's going to talk, I'm going to continue with them. Um, Where is he? Anu. Um, Adetoru, Adetoru, are you before an? Are you before Anu Because I feel you are before him because I see your email before him. If there's no one going to, David gave you number 11. Okay. I'm going to take you then. Where's Adamu Mohammed? Okay, let's do this. Okay. I like the way you started. So the tourism and hospitality industries are rapidly growing for, with global significance. Idris, just like you, everybody has also been here since. So it's always, a, it's a numbers game. It's first come, first serve, unfortunately. So uh, the tourism and hospitality industry is a rapidly growing and influential sector with global significance. Good. According to the World Tourism World Travel Tourism Organization in 2021, it is one of the largest industries generating direct, indirect, and induced impact. This dynamic for has become a major driver of job creation worldwide, fortune prospecting, and offering supply chain linkages to other sectors. Setting new tourism and hospitality provides an opportunity to comprehend the challenges and opportunities in your demand. So from this, I'm understanding that you're going to do something in tourism and hospitality. So in hospitality, so hopefully, the whole SOP is based on that. I don't want in the middle you change and tell me something different. So we all agree that Anu Oluwapo, I hope I pronounced your name right. If I'm not pronouncing it, I'm sorry, is working in tourism and hospitality. My passion for tourism is improved in my own experience as a traveler, my exposure to the tourism industry in my home country. However, I'm acutely aware of the challenges that the industry faces. Uh, particularly in underdeveloped regions. For instance, my home country, Nigeria, while boasting of an incredible rich separation of tourism attractions, including diverse ethnic groups and 
as well as rapidly growing cities and favorable climatic conditions, currently does not rank among the top 10 countries in terms of international tourist arrivals. Fat I love this. Love this. But introduction is too long. It's too long. Summarize paragraph one and paragraph one and two. Factors such as the absence of sustainable practices, inadequate infrastructure and facilities, limited marketing and promotional efforts, challenges in place implementation, Consequently, tourists are often dissuaded from fully immersing themselves in local culture, adversely affecting tourism revenue in overall. This awareness has for my passion to express that can look not gem. Okay. Good. But summarize. But summarize. These challenges deep resonates with me and for my desire to contribute to the revitalization of Nigeria's tourism industry. Person and MS in the National Tourism and Office who equip me with the necessary. I'm committed to developing my specific interest lies in studying. This looks like introduction. All introduction. Too long. Redundancy. When I say redundancy, what I'm saying is you are repeating the same thing over and over again because it's like this is all one thing that you are, you are just stretching it. So summarize it. How many pages have you written? Okay. Like you've done almost like two pages, but you could have done all this in lesser pages. As a graduate of wildlife and ecotourism, so this is your research interest. I thought I, my specific interest lies in studying various case studies and best practices from sustainable, sustainable worldwide tourism marketing. Okay. As a graduate of wildlife and ecotourism management from the University of Ibadan, my academic journey instilled in me a deep appreciation of environmental conservation. How did it, how? What exactly, what exactly in your academic journey did this? Did this. However, my passion for making a tangible impact led me beyond the classroom into various practical experiences. During my internship at Kanji, Lake National Park, I took the initiative to lead a team of fellow interns in organizing a community outreach program focused on wildlife conservation. Recognizing the need for increased awareness and engagement, we designed interactive workshops for local community, highlighting the importance of protecting the park. Great. Great. But missing quantifiable outcome. Quantifiable outcome. Well, outcome. So you did, you did this, which is great. You could also talk about how about my passion. I took the initiative to lead a team. Of, so you are showing your leadership as showing your leadership, which is good. And a team of an organized community outreach program focused on wildlife conservation. Recognizing the need for increased awareness. So this is good, but what was the outcome? When you did all these things, what happened? What did you see? So maybe after this, people were more, they maybe they used to hunt there, but after this, the hunting reduced, maybe by 50% or by 60%. The neighborhood maybe set up a watch committee to avoid um, countable counter outcome. Let's say maybe they set up um, um, an anti-poaching group anti poaching group, poaching group, uh, anti poaching group, um, hunting, hunting, hunting for wildlife reduced by X percent. Like you should show this. So you did this. But what, what, did, what did we get from this? So, which is very good. 
as a member of the 11 11 12 foundation actively participated in community-based initiatives aimed at promoting sustainable tourism collaborating with the diabetes inspired the implementation of echo good good but grocery list and no quantifiable outcome outcome just like what i said before so you said you spared the implementation of an eco-friendly project really great uh you did join my because i engaged in a retail project i took this okay this is good this project allowed me to explore how embracing okay good but you are not telling us like what was the result of it so you did all these things so what what exactly did you do in the research project what exactly what exactly did you do in the research project? So I'm going to I'm going to comment what I have been called activity. You did this activity or project. Your specific contribution. What did you do there? Here too, you can talk about specific contribution, the tools you used. And the final thing will be uh, your quantifiable outcome. What did we get out of it? Beyond my academic pursuits, my experiences as a hotel researcher at a, at a prominent hotel in Nigeria allowed me to develop excellent interpersonal and communication skills. As part of a proficient team, I ensure the similar delivery of personalized guest experience. This will sharpen my ability to handle good. But good, so what? Why is this important to know? Why is this important to know? Why is this why is this important to know? Why is this important to know? Why is this important to know? How does how does this information help you in grad school? So you have to answer those questions. These specific examples demonstrate my track record of leadership. So this is good. Good, but bad position. So here, you could put this one at the top before you start this. I have a track record of leadership problem solving and teamwork in the context of tourism and hospitable industry. Then you start. So I did this, I did, I did this, my, the project, this was my contribution and this was the result. So good, bad, bad position. So this one, you put it on top so that we know that, okay, you did this and like that. So the position is bad. My engagement in natural curricular activities and research projects allowed me to have and broaden my perspective and actually continue to assess that. I'm eager to expand my horizon by delving into the realm of international tourism. I have my way represent, represent to represent and get to sustainable practices. Okay. I'm particularly drawn to because of a strong focus on global perspective and sustainability in what's the name of the university? Which university? Um, you don't know the university, you don't know the university, which means Everything you will say about the university will say about the university is a lie. It's generic. Like you need to visit the university to know what they are providing because so I'm not going to read this because it doesn't exist. So upon completion of the program, my inspiration is to assume a leadership role in the Nigerian tourism and hospitality partner leadership role. What does this mean? Is this a job? What job is what job is a leadership role? What job is a leadership role? Be specific. Um, 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 leveraging the knowledge gained during my studies, I aim to drive economic, social.
Um, Adeja, but let me know in the comment section what you've learned from this review and what I need you to do afterwards. I'm done, but I don't feel like I know you. The only thing I remember about you is that you want to do something in the hospital, hospitality and tourism industry. And the problem you're talking about is this, and you use Nigeria as a case study. And you want to do something in the international space. But apart from that, I can't really remember you. I don't know what you studied in school. I don't know. Maybe if you said it here, but I don't remember. Because like there was so much other information that it's, it's distracted me from what is important. I don't remember what you studied in school. Um, yeah, so maybe it's there. But because like there are so many other things that were happening, I can't remember. I can't remember that. So... Um, where is he? Um, uh, Adejebu Anuoluapo. Let me know in the comment section exactly exactly what the the problem identified and the solution. Okay, now let me go to the the comment section and let's see. Um, everyone is saying David gave me. <laughs> Give me, give me. This where is he giving? Cause I've been here and I don't see him giving anyone cancer. <laughs> okay, so but say what happens is at the beginning, we give numbers for obviously we can't review everybody's SOP because we also have live. You also have other commitments. So at the start, the people who are there, we give the people who show interest, we give them numbers, and that is how we are doing the review. So yeah, that is it. That is how the numbering system is. As Elaine, they said he has given up to 10. And now somebody have up to, can someone, can, okay. So so we are done with the, the numbers. Okay. So um, unfortunately, we are at the end of um, our five-day SOP. We've been doing this for five days. We started last week, Saturday. We did Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And today is the last day. So unfortunately, if your SOP didn't get reviewed, we are sorry. But um, we also have other commitments. But the good thing is, We've done this. All the videos are there. You have to just go back, read, and see the feedback we gave. Apply this to your SOP and review. So I'm going to leave some few minutes for questions. If you have any questions, this will be a good time to ask me. But if not, um, this is the end of our free SOP review. I hope you guys found it useful. I hope you guys learned a lot. And I hope the feedback we gave, you are going to use it to improve on your SOP. So if you have questions, this will be a great time to ask me. But if not, we can call it a day. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, this will be a great time to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified for any new video. Okay, that's great. And um, I'm just going to show one last thing so to find the reviews we've done to get to know the feedback as i said um, go back to this playlist if you haven't if your sop if your sop didn't get reviewed or you're having problems on how to write it i have you go to my channel you go to the playlist you go to write an effective statement of purpose it's going to help you write your SOP from the beginning to the end, what each section should include, what you should look at, what you should talk about. So this is good for you. And this playlist has all the videos we've done from the start. So you can find all of them here to re-watch again, to learn from the SOP of other people, what they did and the advice we gave them. So... And thanks for thanks for all the people who joined. It was great um, getting to know you. So yeah, Dr. unfortunately, we are done for today. I have other commitments that I have to attend to, so I can't continue reviewing. Unfortunately, we are sorry. So I'm wishing you guys all the best. Maybe we'll do it again. I don't know, but subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified if there are new videos. So. Have a great Saturday. Until you hear from me again. Bye.